that's our lecture number three in SolidWorks 3D modeling. In this lecture, we will learn how to uh, draw this simple 3D model in uh, SolidWorks with the help of 2D drawings. With the help of these different types of views and uh, different uh, dimensions, we will draw a simple 3D model in uh, SolidWorks. When we look at uh, that view, then we can see a center line placed here which dimension is 92 uh, from that point to that point similarly from that point to that point is 92 millimeter along with that a fillet applied here of R45 first of all we will draw this center line in SOLIDWORKS starts sketching on top plane now draw two lines uh, like that and uh, place a dimension of 92 for that line and uh, 92 for that line after that we will apply a fillet of R45 for that just select a fillet command and uh, enter a fillet value of 45 and apply a fillet on that point click OK now our sketch is created successfully now we will create a circular feature with the help of uh, sweep command uh, with diameter of 40 mm in the SOLIDWORKS exit sketch and uh, select sweep boss base option and uh, select circular profile option and enter diameter value of 40 and uh, just click OK. Now you can see our geometry is completed with the help of sweep command. After that, you can see here that area. Now we will draw this area. If we look at uh, that view, then we know that a line is uh, going upside and another line is going to left side from the center point of the center circular sketch along with that we have two circles here and here dia of that circle is given here which is 5 millimeter along with that the bigger circles dia is 3 mm ma uh, from the 5 mm dia we will uh, also draw that two circles in SOLIDWORKS start sketching on top plane and set view to normal select line command and move a cursor to uh, that edge now you can see a center point here start line from that center point and place it like that double click on graphics area so line can break now place another line from the same center uh, point like that remember that that uh, line should vertical and that line should horizontal as soon as you move mouse cursor up to that edge you can see a cylinder with edge along with the mouse cursor now just uh, click on that edge and uh, select convert entity Similarly, select that edge and uh, select uh, convert entity. Now we will select uh, trim command and remove extra lines and arcs like that. Now in that view, we can see two circles of uh, dia 5 millimeter and uh, another circle which is 3 millimeter offset from the 5 millimeter circle now we will draw these two circles for that we draw a circle right here which diameter is 5 millimeter we 
we will place another circle on the same center point and uh, we will assign a tangent relation uh, with that edge and uh, we will give a dimension of 5 plus 3 plus 3 which is 11 millimeter now we will select that circle and that edge and assign a tangent relation we set center uh, circle for construction only now we will take uh, the line and uh, place it from that edge to that point similarly uh, we place another line like uh, that now uh, we will just uh, select trim command and remove extra lines and curves Now our sketch is uh, completed on the, that side. Now we will create another geometry on the other side of the sketch. Now just place a circle of dia 11 millimeter right here and uh, assign tangent relation between two edges. Similarly, assign tangent relation for that two edges. Now circle is fully defined just select line command and place it here like that now place a, another line now we will just uh, uh, trim the extra lines and arcs now our uh, sketch is completed just exit from sketch and uh, select extrude boss base option and uh, now we will uh, see its height from our 2d drawing height is given in that 2d view which is 30 millimeter now uh, just uh, select uh, the end condition blind and enter 30 millimeter height in parameters tab and click on ok now you can see our feature is successfully generated now in that 3d view we can see a shell is formed right here and its thickness is 3mm, 3mm. now uh, we just uh, have to create that shell with the help of sweep cut command we know that our outer die is 40 millimeter and the shell thickness is 3mm we just have to subtract 6mm from 40 for getting the internal dia with the help of internal dia we will uh, create hollow from the inside start sketching on top plane now select uh, sketch 1 from sweep 1 drop down and uh, select convert entity so that we can use the sketch for sweep cut after exiting the sketch just select sweep cut option after selecting the circular profile option enter here dia of 34 millimeter and click on ok now you can see a hollow part is formed from the uh, inside successfully when we look at our 3d part then we know that the part is also hollow from that area which thickness is 3 mm given right here now we will create hollow feature from that area and solidworks start sketching on that face and offset that face up to 3 mm now just extend these two lines after that just uh, uh, trim the extra lines and curves now our uh, sketch is generated successfully now it's time to uh, extrude cut just uh, select the extrude cut command and uh, select the option uh, 
to next from here as soon as we select the up to next command our feature feature will be generated up to the up to our required area now you can see a hole is given right here which uh, dimension is 5 mm now just uh, uh, select hole wizard from uh, here and uh, under uh, standard select ansi metric and under type select drill size and uh, we take uh, drill size of 5 mm under end condition we take it blind and uh, set the value uh, up to 12 mm we take angle of 90 degrees now in position just select that face and move the cursor up to that edge so uh, we can find the center point of the cylinder now just place a circle right here similarly place another circle right here now uh, you can see our two circles is uh, placed successfully so that was our 3d modeling tutorial in solidworks So see you in next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and thanks to thanks for watching